A hatchback is a car with a hatch type rear door that opens upwards and often a shared volume for the passenger and cargo areas. When the body style of a car is described as a hatchback, typically it is referring to a utilitarian small car, however hatchback doors are also used on several sports cars, SUVs and large luxury cars. The modern form of the hatchback body style was developed through the 1960s and rose in popularity through the 1970s. Characteristics <laughs> 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 The distinguishing feature of a hatchback is a hatch-type rear door that opens upwards and is hinged at roof level as opposed to the boot trunk lid of a saloon, sedan, which is hinged below the rear window. Most hatchbacks use a two-box design body style, where the cargo area trunk, boot, and passenger areas are a single volume. The rear seats can often be folded down to increase the available cargo area. Hatchbacks may have a removable rigid parcel shelf, or flexible roll-up tonneau cover to cover the cargo space behind the rear seats. When describing the body style, the hatch is often counted as a door, therefore a hatchback with two passenger doors is called a three-door and a hatchback with four passenger doors is called a five-door. Estates, station wagons and hatchbacks have in common a two-box design configuration, a shared interior volume for passengers and cargo and a rear door often called a tailgate in the case of an estate, wagon that is hinged at roof level. An estate, wagon typically differs from a hatchback by being longer therefore more likely to have a D-pillar. Other potential differences of a station wagon include Steeper rake at the rear i.e. the rear door is more vertical A third row of seats Rear suspension designed for increased load capacity or to minimize intrusion into the cargo area The tailgate is more likely to be a multi-part design or extend all the way down to the bumper. Liftback Liftback is a marketing term for hatchback models with a fastback profile, where the rear cargo door or hatch is more horizontally angled than on an average hatchback, and as a result, the hatch is lifted more upwards than backwards, to open. Such a design is frequently the result when manufacturers offer both a notchback and hatchback version of the same medium or full-size sedan, and the full rear overhang length of a conventional sedan trunk is retained on the three-door or five-door versions of the car. The term liftback was for instance frequently, but not exclusively, used by Toyota. History Prior art and small volume models The first production hatchback was released by Citroen in 1938, the Citroen 11CV commercial. The tailgate has two pieces, a top section hinged from roof level and a bottom section hinged from below. When production of the commercial resumed after World War II, the tailgate became a one-piece design which was hinged from roof level, as per the design used on most hatchbacks since, in 1949, Kaiser Fraser introduced the Vagabond and Traveler hatchbacks. These models were styled much like a typical 1940s sedan, fully retaining their three-box profile, however, they included a two-piece tailgate as per the first Citroen 11 CV commercial. The Vagabond and Traveler models also had folding rear seats, and a shared volume for the passengers and cargo. The design was neither fully a sedan nor a station wagon, but the folding rear seat provided for a large, 8-foot long interior cargo area. These Kaiser Fraser models have been described as America's first hatchback. In 1953, Aston Martin marketed the DB2 with a top hinged rear tailgate, manufacturing 700 examples. Its successor, the 1958 DB Mark III, also offered a folding rear seat. The 1954 AC A Seeker and later A Seeker Bristol from AC Cars had a similar hatch tailgate, though only 320 were built. Topic: Beginning of mass production. The British Motor Corporation (BMC) launched a Countryman version of the Austin A40 Farina two-box economy car in 1959. Just like its A30 and A35 Countryman predecessors, it was a very small estate car. 
but instead of regular, sideways opening rear doors, it had a horizontally split tailgate, having a top-hinged upper door and bottom-hinged lower door. The 1959 A40 Countryman differed from the 1958 A40 Farina Saloon, in that the rear window was marginally smaller, to allow for a frame that could be lifted up, with its own support, so that the car now incorporated a horizontal split two-piece tailgate. The lower panel was now flush with the floor and its hinges had been strengthened. In 1961, Renault introduced the Renault 4. The Renault 4 was the first million selling, mass produced, compact two box car with a steeply raked rear side, opened by a large, one piece, lift gate hatch. During its production life cycle, Renault marketed the R4 calling it a small station wagon, just like Austin's series of small countryman estate models from 1954 to 1968 even after the term, hatchback, appeared around 1970. Although the company did not offer a saloon or single other alternative body style, the Renault 4 continued in production in Europe until 1986, and in Argentina through 1992, selling over 8 million cars. In 1965, the R4 economy car was complemented by the D-segment Renault 16, the first volume production two-box, hatchback family car. Its rear seats were adjustable, would fold down, or could be completely removed. The Renault 16 was successful in a market segment previously exclusively populated by notchback sedans, and in spite of making only the one-body style for 15 years, selling over one three-quarters million cars. In 1965, MG had Pininfarina modify the MGB Roadster into a hatchback design called the MGB GT, becoming the first volume production sports car with this type of body. In 1967, Citroën released the Diane, a redesigned 2CV with a large rear hatch, to compete with the Renault 4. Topic: <laughs> Modern hatchbacks. Unlike the Renault 4, which had a semi-integrated body, mounted on a platform chassis, and a front mid-mounted and longitudinally placed engine behind the front axle, the 1967 Simca 1100, which followed in the footsteps of the 1959 BMC Mini with front-wheel drive, a more space-efficient transverse engine layout, unitary bodywork and independent suspension features which became key design concepts used by almost every mass-market family car since and it was the first hatchback with these features. The Simca 1100 also came in both three- and five-door variants, and the hatchback models took a central position, traditionally taken up by saloons, in a full model lineup, completed by a station wagon, as well as panel van versions. The Simca was closely followed by the Mini's larger stablemate, the Austin Maxi, which with the hatch was a five-door saloon, and with a transverse SOHC engine, a five-speed transmission, and a flexible seating arrangement which gave the option of forming a double bed. Created by the same designer as BMC's Mini, Sir Alec Isagonis, accountants had determined that the car had to use the same set of doors as the Austin, Morris 1800, but would be marketed below it in the model range, so needed a shorter rear body. A curtailed rear end with a big hatch resulted. The Austin Maxi operated in the same market segment as the Renault 16, and the two competitors were closely matched in specifications and exterior dimensions, although the Maxi had significantly more interior space due to its transverse engine. Europe Increasing demand for compact hatchbacks in Europe during the 1970s led to the release of models such as the Austin Ambassador, Austin Maestro, Fiat 127 and Renault 5. By the late 1970s and early 1980s, the majority of superminans and compact cars had been updated or replaced with hatchback models. In 1974, the Volkswagen Golf was introduced, intended to replace the ubiquitous Beetle. The Golf, now in its seventh generation, is the third highest selling car model of all time. In 1976, British Leyland introduced the Rover 3500, a executive five door hatchback. In the 2010s, hatchback versions became available on luxury cars such as the BMW 5 Series Gran Turismo, Porsche Panamera, and Audi A7. Meanwhile, three door hatchbacks have seen a fall in popularity, compared with five door models. This has led to many models no longer being offered in three-door body styles, for example the Audi A3 and Renault Clio. 
The same trend is very strongly seen on SUVs, where demand for four, five-door models is far stronger than for traditional two, three-door models. North America In 1970, American Motors Corporation AMC released the first North American subcompact car since the 1953–1961 Nash Metropolitan, the AMC Gremlin. Although the Gremlin has the appearance of a hatchback, it is technically a camback coupé instead, since it is only the rear window that opens. The Gremlin was based on the AMC Hornet, but its abrupt hatchback rear end cut the car's overall length from 179 to 161 inches AMC added a hatchback version to its larger compact-sized Hornet line for the 1973 model year. The design and fold-down rear seat more than doubled cargo space and the Hornet was claimed to be the first compact hatchback. Manufactured by U.S. automaker. The 1975 Pacer featured a rear door or hatchback. A longer model with a wagon-type configuration was added in 1977 with its large rear hatch as one of the car's three doors, all having different sizes. The 1979 AMC Spirit was available in two designs, a sedan with a rear lift-up window and a semi-fastback liftback. Version General Motors' first hatchback model was the Chevrolet Vega, introduced in September 1970. Over a million Vega hatchbacks were produced for the 1971 to 1977 model years, accounting for about half of the Vega's total production. The Vega hatchback was also rebadged and sold as the 1973 to 1977 Pontiac Astra, 1978 Chevrolet Monza S, 1795 to 1980 Buick Skyhawk, 1975 to 1980 Oldsmobile Starfire, and 1977 to 1980 Pontiac Sunbird. In 1974, the larger Chevrolet Nova became available in a hatchback body style. The Nova hatchback was also rebadged as the Chevrolet Conqueror, Pontiac Ventura, Pontiac Phoenix, Oldsmobile Omega, Buick Apollo and Buick Skylark. In 1980, General Motors released its first front-wheel drive hatchback models, the Chevrolet Citation and Pontiac Phoenix. Ford Motor Company's first hatchback was the Ford Pinto Runabout, introduced in 1971. The Pinot-based 1974–1978 Ford Mustang II was offered as a hatchback. The body style was continued for the redesigned Fox platform-based 1979 third-generation Mustang and the Mercury Capri derivative. For 1981, Ford offered hatchback versions of its sub-compact Escort and the badge-engineered Mercury Lynx, which were now front-wheel drive. Two seat hatchback derivatives were introduced for 1982, the Ford EXP and the Mercury Lane 7. Chrysler Corporation's first hatchbacks and first front-wheel drive cars were the 1978 Dodge Omni Plymouth Horizon models, which were based on the French Simca Talbot Horizon. These were followed by the three-door hatchback Dodge Omni 024, Plymouth Horizon TC3, which were later renamed Dodge Charger and Plymouth Turismo. Topic: Japan. The first Japanese hatchbacks were the 1972 Honda Civic, Nissan Sunny, and Nissan Cherry. The Civic and Cherry had front-wheel drive powertrains, which later became the common configuration for a hatchback. Along with the Honda Civic, other Japanese hatchback models included the Nissan Pulsar, Toyota Corolla, and Suzuki Swift. Almost all Japanese KEI cars, city cars. Use a hatchback body style, to maximize cargo capacity given the overall vehicle size is limited by KEI car regulations. KEI cars include the Mitsubishi Minica, Honda Life, Suzuki Frontier, Subaru Vivio, and Daihatsu Mira. USSR <laughs> <laughs> The first Soviet hatchback was the rear-wheel drive IZH 2125 Combi, which entered production in 1973. This was followed only in the 1980s by the front-wheel drive Lada Samara in 1984, the Moskvich 2141, Aleko in 1986, and Zaz Tavria in 1987. Topic: 
Brazil. In 2014, four of the top five selling models in Brazil were hatchbacks. However in the 1980s and 1990s, hatchbacks were less popular than sedans, leading manufacturers to develop compact sedan models for the Brazilian market, for example the Fiat Premio and sedan versions of the Opel Corsa and Ford Fiesta. India. Hatchbacks are the highest selling car body style in India. The Maruti 800 sold over 2.5 million units since its launch in 1983. Since 2004, Maruti 800 has been overtaken by Maruti Alto as the car with highest annual sales. In 2015, Tata Motors launched a hatchback version of the Nano, the least expensive road car in the world. See also Trunk car Hot hatch List of car body styles Shooting brake